in this uh, video tutorial we shall see the logic uh, and the assembly code to transfer a block of data bytes within the internal RAM and uh, in this case we shall consider a overlapping condition the first thing is uh, we need to understand uh, what is this overlapping condition so in the last program we transferred a block of data from the source to destination right so the starting address was 30h and uh, the starting address of destination was 40h right so this was an example of a non-overlapping condition okay so what is non-overlapping is uh, the destination addresses are unique and they are not the one from the source addresses so this condition is called as non-overlapping whereas in case of uh, overlapping condition one of the or more than one addresses are part of the source addresses for example let me remove this now so let's say the starting address of the destination is 32h so the next will be 33h 34h 35h 36h right now if you observe the addresses 32 33 34 they are part of both source as well as the destination right so the first of all you should know to provide proper addresses to satisfy the overlapping condition so in this case as you see these three addresses are common in both source and destination then what is the problem let's see that let's say I have initialized some data here right so what is the first thing I will do first I will copy this first data that is the contents of 30h to 32h at the moment I copy this what has happened is 32h was initialized with the data 3 now that I have copied from 30h to 32h this will be corrupted and uh, one will come here actually they are the one in the same memories only for pictorial representation I have shown this separate second you will copy the second data so what will happen now 33h had got 4 now it will be replaced by 2 we will copy the next data now but where will you copy you have already you have already lost the data right so we cannot copy as we had copied in the last program so we need to find out a different logic for this the logic is very simple what we shall do is instead of copying from the first address we shall copy from the last address what do we mean so we shall initialize a pointer to the last address let's say I have initialized a pointer to the last address here and I have initialized a pointer here to the last address right so instead of copying from the first location I shall start copying from the last location right now currently the pointers are pointing to the last location right so first I will copy 5 right instead of incrementing the pointers I shall decrement the pointers right now I shall copy the next data so the 4 will come in 35h again I will decrement this and I will copy 3 again I shall decrement this and now I shall copy 2 at last I will decrement this and I shall copy 1 so with this logic without corrupting the data we are able to copy a block of data from source to destination satisfying the overlapping condition right so here our additional logic is to find out the last address right 
So how to find out the last address? Let us see. So last address will be equal to starting address, right? Start address plus whatever is your block size, right? So if you see the block size in this case is five because I'm copying five bytes of data, right? So block size that is n minus of one, right? So what does it mean now? For example, now if I want to find out the last address of the source, so that will be equal to the starting address that is 30h plus the block size is 5 minus 1. So it will be equal to 34h which is nothing but the last address of the source. Similarly, if I want to find out the last address of destination, right? So in that case, the starting address will be equal to 40h. So 40h plus 4 will be 40. Sorry. The starting address is 32h. So 32 plus 4 will be equal to 36h. Right. So this is the additional logic we are supposed to include. Fine. Now we shall program this. Let us write the program for the same. G zero H. Let me initialize the block size. Move R two comma hash five. So this is the block size. Then I shall initialize a pointer to the starting address of source. Right. Then similarly, I will initialize a pointer to the starting address of destination. Okay, the next logic, which is the additional logic, is to compute the last address. Now, with this, what happens is the code becomes dynamic, right? So, you need not change uh, the code again and again as the block size changes. So, now to find out the last address, so the last address is starting address plus n minus 1. So move a comma r2, right? Now I have to perform n minus 1, so I will say decrement a. So this is nothing but block size minus 1. This has to be added with the starting address of the source, which is nothing but r0. So I will add with the contents of r0. So I got the last address of source. This address, whatever I have got, it is there in accumulator. So I have to copy this back to R0. So move R0, comma A. Similarly, I will find out the last address of destination. Right. So move A, comma R2 decrement a then add a comma r1 move r1 comma a so this is the last address of destination right so once uh, now the pointers are pointing to the last address right so this is where we are now. Now that we have found out the last address, the next thing is to copy the data. So I first bring into the accumulator, move a comma at the rate of r naught and copy it to the destination. All right? The only change is because we are copying the data from the last location, instead of doing increment pointer, do decrement pointer. Right, and this we will repeat unless all the bytes have been copied, so that will come here. Right, at last, end with a forever loop. If 
fine. Now let us uh, check for syntax errors. So there are no errors. Let me go to the compilation uh, debug mode. So the starting address is 30. Now here the starting address is 32H, right? So I will initialize the data now. 1, 2, 3, 4. So you can see. And at the destination, you can see that because the first address is 32, so 3, 4, 5 is also visible here. Basically, they are the same addresses, right? Now let's see. So R2 contains 5. R0 is initially pointed to the starting address, 30H. Then, uh, so here I had done a mistake. So these mistakes you may also do. I had not given it as a hexadecimal number, right? Fine. Now, I am finding the last address of the source now. That is nothing but 34H. So you can see R0 contains 34. Similarly, I am finding the last address of destination. R1 is contain 36. Now I am copying from the last. It means see the contents of 34H. Now it will be copied to first 36. Right. So 5 has come. And I will repeat this unless all the bytes have been copied. So the pointers are updated. 4. And the next data. The next. And the next. So you can see that uh, without corrupting any other data we have copied all the bytes from the source to the destination. So in case of uh, overlapping you should know what addresses should be given. Okay and uh, this overlapping condition is only forward overlapping. We can also have backward overlapping which is not included here. Uh, you can just study this uh, forward overlapping as of now. Thank you.